So hello world and Monary, and welcome to my live reaction of course episode 8. So we got a lot of anime today, so we're good right at it, and it started, and I just love this opening so much. So let's go one, one, three, two, one, and go. And yeah, this opening is so good. You know how much I love this opening. No, but seriously, I listen to Frederick like as far as anime. Probably like uh, I don't know, one, two hours a week, probably when I work. I used to have I'm the kind of person that I go like artist by artist. So I find like, okay, Frederick is the artist of this uh, anime. Uh, the, of the of the of the show, right? So I listen to uh, to his work and I probably can listen to the song for like an hour or two straight. This is kind of how I work. I listen to one song over and over and over again. And then I kind of skip to the next song. I listen to that for like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> I go through that. Like I can go like a one artist per day. I can go around. It's like that. Well, I circle one artist right for like an hour. So I find like some really good like ACDs. I like ACDs. I like Kiss and so on. I, I love Kiss. And um, you know, I go into that, hear the music. I listen to them for a few hours just over and over again. But I usually kind of like that. Just go get one song. And circle it around a few times. Look at the that, then I go to the next song, do that 10 times. So, usually on Mondays, I do my Frederick loops, since I found out him from the anime, uh, which is definitely. So, people think it's kind of lame, but I'm like, lame? You listen, to, you find a new anime, you like the opening, you from the music alone, not the actual animation, regardless of that. They say, have a great animation, though, but you're saying. Uh, I don't see the animation, but I'm saying that it's the artist you're talking about, right? Listen to that and say, okay, I want to hear more, 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 more from this artist. So I've been through that and I created like a Monday for me, like a Frederick thing. Oh yeah, festival here starts. Uh, and they're gonna do the classical uh, gender bending thing, right? Where you have the cute girls and play a cute boy. It's gonna be very bishonen. All the, all the girls will be like, oh, she's so beautiful, and it's gonna be the classic thing here. That's probably what they're doing it, yeah. So obviously, yeah, the class is gonna be the. Like that. Yeah, she's gonna be the beautiful uh, Romeo, right? And then of course the the Yaoi, oh God, what's her name? Nitsuka. Sorry, Nitsuka is the name. He is gonna be, of course, the very beautiful Julia, right? He's gonna cross stress, be the very beautiful Bishonio, uh, Bishonio, Bishonio. Yeah, like yeah, that's gonna be how it is, right? And everyone else is gonna be like, oh. Perfect couple with the teeth are straight, so and and I still believe that of the day are supposed to be married, right? Uh, Takasaki-san and Nitsaka. That's my theory. I'm flipping sure on it. Like I think everything points to that, that they're supposed to be married, but because he is not, uh, yeah, he's not straight, so he's like, I don't want to marry her because I have no interest in in, in the woman, so. This blonde girl, we've never seen it before, actually, with lines, but it's kind of like a strict uh, delete kind of personality. Yeah. Maybe I was talking about Suri Children, it reminds me of that. Maybe. <laughs> it's like, yeah, whatever. I want to kiss a girl. <laughs> yeah, and th this girl with the kind of weird. I don't know what you call this thing. What do you call this thing? This thing like the hair is like, I mean, obviously I have the perfect hair, but like, yeah, like, I don't know. What, what do you call this thing? What do you call this thing? We have here like in a weird kind of ball, right? Can I do it? If I twist my hair a bit. Yeah, and I need like a hair pin here, right? If I do this thing. Nah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe I can do it. Like, if I get the hair up. Yeah, obviously he has problems with this. He probably will kiss the girl, right? They also probably should be married, so. No, I can't do it without having some here. Get the collection here. It should be the best live reaction ever where I was sitting here trying to do this here. Ah, oh, there we go. This is freaking awesome. This is so awesome. I have very stick here. I can, I can model it around. <laughs> yeah, there's a pearl. That's a great, great cosplay. It's always like, you can mal very, very malleable here. So, here we go. No, I'll take that again. I know I missed a few hairs here on the side, so it must look very good, but... And I don't have any hair tools here. Yeah, he's very insensitive. He has really bad choice skill, right? Uh, 
It's gonna be like a twist now, but I release, I think it's gonna be like her in the anime. Like the girl is really into. Mm, so a little too. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what here she has. I, I just need to have it a little more in front, right? She has this kind of thing going for her, this thing here. But it's like here, her. It's like here. I need to have this a little higher up, right? Yeah. What? He's dead? Yeah. I'm the same kind of hair color, yeah. <laughs> cool. that's, that's how you know it's like, yeah. The one that's kind of very like indigo, like a very light purple indigo here, right? Neshima-san! Yeah. And it's better than sushi, I guess. Uh, yeah, classic assembly line. Uh, hamburger roll? That looks like fish to me. Okay, probably like small meat and rice, I guess. Hmm, I'm gonna go eat it. Uh, Today, so great. Yeah, I can eat today. His dad probably knows, right? His dad probably knows that he's uh, that he's gay, right? Nesha was always very nice. He's very insensitive, but also very nice because he's very naive, right? He doesn't get people's. I'm guessing his dad knows that he's in love with him, probably. Trust your friend, but I think so. I, I would imagine so. I mean, this is not a, this is not a world where you like you hide your your kind of relationship interest because you have to marry someone at sixteen. So it'd be hard not to discuss your um, orientation, right? <laughs> because like, uh, how would you hide it? So this is kind of weird. Yeah, I'm guessing his father knows. Um, Yeah, and it's like, he's the lead guy, all the girl likes him. He's giving his dad a weird look, right? Because he's kind of like an other version of Nitsuka, but the hair is covered with alcohol. He has kind of a sly, tricky look to it, yeah. It's kind of master planner guy. Probably because he's in love with him. I mean, it's clearly that he's in love with, uh, with the main character. It's like, he probably tries to keep a distance. I mean, clearly, Yusuke is his name, yeah. It's his uh, first name. <laughs> it's like, Argh. Yeah, he doesn't feel nice at all. This is like a very sly person. He's like a guy that, you know, lies a lot and is very manipulative. That, that, that's the feel, right? Maybe, yeah, but that's what anime is great doing, right? Because it's giving him this like weird hair kind of style, coloring his eyes. You just know that he's a sly guy, Kitsune kind of feature. You know that he's gonna be a manipulator guy. Like that, that's just how anime does. That's what anime is so great. But really, because anime is very anime is a is a medium where it's very easy to. Tell someone this is their personality. Or this their, this is their like behavior based on their hair, this on the how they look and so on, right? Uh, which is, if you look at TV show, it's much harder to make a character. That is more about body language, I guess. It's much harder, right? You make it happen so quickly in a, with a real person. Um, and it does it really, really well. And does it generally better than for example that Western comic and so on because how they do the hair. It's like a negative space team, right? It's like, because not showing something there that you would have shown, you know that something, ah, you know something is, is, is strange to his father, and but if we did it in a, in a normal live action show, we could have just removed the eyes of the live actor. Like, we could have just done that. We have to have the, the normal human shapes there, and that would be like, yeah. Here we can actually intentionally say something about the character. So I think that's very, this, this is a very end way to do it. And because of that, his father is on, is probably evil. Not evil, but it's like, it's not a good push, I think. Based on that. Hmm. And it was all about like, oh, but I, you're my best friend and I love you or something. I love you as a brother, yeah. <laughs> it's like this, 
giving him some motivational speak here, and this is really awkward for him, right? Because it's like, it feels like he's like, yeah, once we love and accept. Yeah, this is very awkward for him, of course. The guy he's in love with is like, you have to believe in love. I believe in you. You're a great actor. You're a beautiful person. You would be so good at you. You would be the most beautiful Julia ever. Yeah, this is like super awkward for him. But like, oh, I mean, awkward is the wrong name, but it's obviously <laughs> burial mounting again. I was like, actually, I love someone else. Yeah, that is like, maybe, maybe I'm in love with the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Like, actually, I think I'm gonna hit on some other person. Like, what are you talking about? Um, that was great. That was great. <laughs> Scaring away there. No, but really, it's very like. Yeah, I will play Yuri because you want me to play Yuri, yeah. But in a way, I mean, this is very Japanese, though. But, like, isn't this very typical Yaoi Japanese situation here? We have the, we have the main character say, like, I want to see you play Yulia. Or Yulia. Uh, and. Is this Roman Yulia? English. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. We have the main character, right? Uh, Tanling. Uh, the person is in love with him. The male person love him that I wanna see you cross dress as this beautiful Juliet. And there's like an obvious flag for setting up a YOE situation here where he's like, okay, I'm gonna dress up as a girl and try to seduce the main character. Very classic cross dressing setup like gender bender and stuff like right? generally Yaoi thing, yeah. So it's like why would he not wanna do it in that sense? But a little actually. <laughs> but like why would he not wanna I'm not saying that you have to cross stress because you're um, because you're homosexual, absolutely not. But it but it, but it's kinda is like uh, I don't say it goes hand in hand in real life. It doesn't. It might I mean I'm assuming that it's probably more common. <laughs> I have a that's state for it. But I would say from one person's experience that yeah it's more common. So and and those two experience though, but fine. Um like people I dated and so on, um, it's, it's more common, right? That being said though, in this very Japanese culture in a way with the boy love, yaoi stuff, I mean, and yeah, they're like, oh yeah, Mopai. Uh, I mean, I suppose that is really interesting here. Because for me, is that a plot hole, to be honest? Isn't it? It's my life, actually. For me, it's a plot hole, sorry, but it's like, it feels weird to me, because in a very classic Japanese, you know, that kind of genre of medium, it's very common that you have one of the person, right, in yeah, everyone's like, I want to see him naked, yeah, like, woo, yeah. But it's very common, right, in this typical medium, where it's a little more strange, right, that you have one of the persons, the Ukusaka thing, that one of them is going to cross-stress to seduce the one that's not the bottom, right? That's very, very common. So it's a little plot hole there, I felt. At least it's a presentable anime way. It's like, why doesn't he want to cross-stress as the beautiful Juliet in front of the guy he's in love with. Uh, I'm gonna say that, like, realistically wise, I guess it's actually better, but in an anime wise, if it's kinda weird, in an anime wise, that's pretty the common thing that they would, they would like to cross dress, right? Without, regardless of being told to, because it's a good way to try to be with the, the, guy, you, the guy you love, right? Um, so it's a little weird. As an anime, it's a little weird. I would accept it. I don't know, I mean, it's a little confusing there. Uh, but after that, though, it becomes super awkward, right? Because then we have said the guy he's in love with, telling him, I want to see you as a woman. It's like, you want me to be your woman? <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, then it, gets little, then it gets really, like, this is set up for, uh, <laughs> for a like, common boy love manga, right? It's like, oh, you want to sleep as a woman? I can arrange that. I can give you a private tour later at my home how i look as a woman like that's yeah like it's like a very very setting up that thing though so uh, but now i feel it's just slow here though this episode maybe i'm still stuck on the um, the super yaoi moment there but it's like no it's like oh yeah we're fixing stuff we're eating cookies we have the reading apart here with the girl that i suspect is trying to betray her um setting out there that I find is strange. Though. That girl is so strange. She's like, I'm number two, you're number one, let's be best friends. Normally you'd be like, I am number two, so I'm gonna get you down and be number one. Like that usually has worked like I wanna be number one, so I won't be your friend. I, wanna, I actually wanna ruin for you. 
So she's like, let's be best friends. We have the most common. Actually, it's logical. It's logical though, right? If you're number one, you're number two. You probably are studying a lot. You probably brought real intelligence, or whatever. Let, let's be best friends. Like whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it, it makes some sense in that sense, but it's like I don't trust her for a second. Anyway, so now they're finding guests over here. I would say that Tasuka, she's gonna try to do something with Nechima, as always tries. She always tries to trick him in some way. You know, every episode I see, especially the last episode, we had this kind of weird death ending, right? Every time I see her in this kind of situation, I feel like she's more and more. It's evil the right word for it. Something like that, yeah. Many things. It's so always like, uh, why don't you help me carry this thing over here? And I was saying that, <laughs> sounds like I say that girls shouldn't hit on boys because. That's wrong or something, but I mean, she does it in like this, like tricky the way that she doesn't do it. In Sometimes she just kisses him, and it's very like genuine love, uh, and that's fine, of course, and, and hitting and so on. But this is a world here where you have to marry someone by the government, so this, that makes it complicated. And also, of course, every time she does these things, always like some alternative motive. Oh, let me get you over here. Oh, I followed you. It's just like it's weird. Like, look now, there's a staircase. She's gonna like trip on him probably. <laughs> like. She always looks like weird, like forceful, like I'm gonna do this thing, yeah, like it's, it's always something up in her mind. Yeah, rehearsing Romeo and you with him. You're extremely honest with your feelings. Pretty much, uh, <laughs> yeah, force him. Yeah, that should be very interesting to see you reading and watch the show. He's not in it though, the main character, which is quite very weird for a manga and anime, so... Yeah, he, yeah, he's super happy now, he's like, I don't even want to do this crossing thing. But no, but then some guy told him that he wanted to see me dress. and he's like, hey, yeah, actually, maybe I want to be in a, in a skirt. That, 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 that's, I, I heard someone likes that. <laughs> it's like, it's very much like, yeah, there's this guy that told me that he wanted to see me... Yeah, good display for the audience. But I, I'm sure they... Yeah, I think they both are supposed to be married. Right. That's my theory of it. I think she knows a lot about Nisika. I think I think she knows the truth. Yeah, that's the thing. I think she knows that he's, uh, he's gay. I think that's a very, very serious thing that she knows that he doesn't know. And she maybe figured out that he's in love with uh, Nejima, maybe. But I think for sure that she knows that he is uh, gay. I think that's something that is very obvious. Like she probably knows his secret. Uh, she's probably the only student that knows his secret, right? So to speak, yeah. And his father, I guess, as we saw in the episode. Definitely a very Nisika focused episode. <gasps> What a burn! What is love anyway? Yeah! Like, I've been kissing you 25 times, don't you love me? Yeah, it's like... What is love anyway? <laughs> the eraser thing! It's better than this, like, uh... You gave me the eraser five years ago and I love you every day since then! I've been looking at you like a stalker! She's sick of gender, yeah, it's all like, I've been looking at you. <laughs> That's like, yeah, so cute, oh god! That is so cute with the book there. <laughs> Very classic them. Hiding her. Like, oh god, that's so cute. Oh, that was a cute flashback. Yeah. Six months ago, I guess she got her marriage thing right with Nisaka. Or someone, but probably Nisaka. That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make complete sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm disappointed there. Yeah, we're same class, but not in the same trip. Yeah, she's been planning this for years. She, she, she goes mad. He, she was like, he gave me an eraser. I'm gonna marry him. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you get the girl. It's like, you give her an eraser. She's like 11. He's like, I'm gonna marry you when I'm 16. Like that. That is like her life is like goal is like in five years from now, because of the eraser, I will marry you. <laughs> it's like very much, yeah. That's why I don't trust her though, to 
be honest. Because to me, this, this, she feels very delusional, doesn't she? Like, I think so. It's not wrong being in love with someone for years, but the problem with that is that you, you create this imagine, like, you've been in love with this man since you were like 11 or 12. I don't know how old you are that. I think it's 11, but she's 16 now, right? Yeah. So, for she's 11 to she's 16, she's been fantasizing about being his wife, like, literally his wife. And she's like, I want to kiss this guy, I want to do this thing, I want to marry him, I want to get his children, we're going to have three, two or three kids, this is going to be their names. And they're gonna be, he's gonna work over there, I'm gonna work over here. Yeah, and he, he, she didn't get to be his wife, of course. Yeah. Which is, of course, a big problem. Very horrible word to say. If you love with someone for years, you have to have ridiculous luck to uh, be married with them because the government forces you. Yeah. But that's what I mean. She says it's happening. Like, I mean, I'm falling up with you more every day. Not saying that he's a horrible person. Um, but it's kind of like um, nice. Uh... <laughs> yeah, just say, oh, really, Nashal? I love her too. He's like, I love your girlfriend or your wife. She's awesome. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Out of fear, why did he get a good wife for? <laughs> yeah, why did he have to give us a good wife? Come on. I mean, Agar Rishan said it very good in the game, last she was like, if you love someone, you just love them. You know right away, and you don't think about it. It's kind of like, love is just uncontrollable, that's true love, whatever, but... I don't know, man, like... I don't trust... Takshan, for a second. And the way she said this to, she's crying here, manipulative, right, to try to trick it. She's like, oh, I'm crying, please hug me, like, yeah. Man, I don't trust her for a second, because... I, it might be, it be a red herring, but the way she's presented, right, it's such a way, it's like, I have been in love with you for five years, I've been doing this and this and this and this, and that makes you go mad, right? It makes you go mad, in a sense, because you're building this, I mean, yeah, like, because you are building this thing. I think so, at least, personally. Uh, or personally, I mean, just science, really, science, um, to be honest. Because you do get the image, look at this on previous one, I guess, but, no. there we go. Um, so I think you get this image, talking about this in the interview as well, uh, but you get this image, right, of, of, of Persia. Doesn't matter gender, doesn't matter bad thing. Like, you get this image and you fantasize about it, no matter what it is, it can be like, oh, this guy, he's a really awesome, uh, whatever, <laughs> partner in this game I play, I haven't met yet, he's gonna be freaking awesome in real life. Oh, it's actually really boring, he's actually much funnier. On Skype, right? <laughs> but really, low. like you get the image, and the longer time it gets, it gets worse. If you read science about like matchmaking sites and so on on the internet, uh, it's very it's kind of like most people say this that you should meet the person. You have to like move into them, whatever, the first day, but you should meet as soon as possible. Not this like, oh, I met the guy yesterday, let's just go and meet and hope it's not an axe murderer, but you want to meet person kind of quicker. Do you probably think because otherwise you both are creating this imaginary vision right, of the person which will make you disappointed it makes you disappointed when you meet them in real life uh, it's a very classic thing you get you get you get to know you get to more and more and when you actually get to them you have the image of them that you can live up to right and that's why you won't actually um oh yeah so here we see a really really nice course is getting to the, the festival Oh, he's so hot. Oh, Nisaga, he's so attractive. <laughs> he's really attractive, of course. No, but he's a typical Bishonen character. It's like, he's so attractive. It's like, oh, man, that, that is a cute, uh, that's a cute crossover. Of course, <laughs> I'm waiting for the fan work on this anime. Um, no, but for a reviewer, I think, I think yeah, that's what I mentioned again. It's like, that's very classic, right? You, you, you get this relationship with someone on the internet. Uh, I'm not talking about opinion, but I'm talking about like this general that I read um, like scientific paper on this. And it, it sounds very reasonable to me. I have a minor, I guess, to go but it sounds very reasonable because people create a vision, right? And the more you don't meet, you both have these visions that the other person can love with. And you finally meet after like a year of whatever dating online, and you both have like a 
pinnacle vision of each other, <laughs> right? So you're both disappointed, and then you want to meet each other again. I don't think it all happens, but saying that that's something that happens a lot, and it's like, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. In her case, though, she meets him every day, pretty much. But that's not the same thing here. It's not, it's not the kind of the weird, like, it's delusional and grander of increasing every time. But it's a similar situation, though, where she's like so. Because she's kind of a younger, right, in a way. Like a little, I think she's more and more younger. And she's like, she's like obsessed with him. I think that very obsessed with the main character, with Neshima. Very obsessed. And she becomes more and more obsessed. She says herself, it's like, oh, every day I used to more and more. And it's like, it's like how she lied and tricked Ririna. Like, she lied to Ririna to like ruin the relationship. If you try to do it already, right? Uh, not, not very harsh, but like, she's starting doing that. And that it shows that she's like, not just more manipulative, but she's sort of like, a rather uh, like destroy his his wife's life uh so he so no one can have it if i can't have him she's getting into that kind of this kind of controlling manipulative mindset right and uh, more and more she's growing into that like the kind of that kind of crazy uh, uh thing or maybe she's already at maximum and she's tricking it i don't know uh, i think she's this is not like a very like action driven anime right i mean so it's probably not at that extreme level, but um, but yeah, I think definitely she's going in that direction. So uh, I don't know, that's why I don't trust her a second. And the crying there, I didn't find it sad to be honest. I mean, I find the whole system is kind of, okay, the government is controlling everything. So there's like no love in this world, that's sad. But her crying did not feel genuine to me. In sense. Maybe I'm pretty wrong, maybe I've read a manga, maybe she's actually super sad and like, oh, you know, the world hates me. But this feels like, man, someone did it episode one, saw a friend here in the preview, and she probably tricked that thing. She pretty much tried to just go all the way with him uh, right away when the met, right? It was like, no, holding back there. She's always getting the most of And even here, if she didn't try to, she didn't kiss him at all the first time ever, she didn't actually kiss him or say more more. But she started to do this, like, suddenly she starts crying, and like, oh, please protect me. Yeah, like, that's just. She feels so manipulative, right? Isn't she? I think so. I, I think so. She's so manipulative. Like that, she's like, okay, this girl takes over here. Like, oh, can I help you carry this paper? Oh, I'm totally crying. Why won't you love me? Like that, that's kind of the summarization of that, of that scene, right? Maybe she's genuinely sad. She is probably sad. Like, she's probably sad as well. But also feels to me that it's, it's, she's sad and lying to him. Like, a lot, right? A lot. <laughs> like that's how I feel. So um, yeah, this something is something up at least. And she probably knows that this guy is, is gay uh, for sure. So something's up there, definitely. 